What you are seeing right here is what I am literally seeing while trying to fly the quad. Uh, yeah. All right, here's the plan. Victoria has a baseball team called the Harbor Cats. A couple times a year they do fireworks after the game. I don't care about baseball, but I fly drones. So that means I like fireworks. You see where this is going? Okay, I'll see you there. All right. Oh, time's currently 8.03 p.m. Fireworks are said to start at 10.35 p.m. So we have a couple hours, and I gave myself a couple hours because I don't really know where the fireworks are set off from. They might be set off at the actual field, but that seems weirdly close to the spectators, so time to scope it out, figure out where I can stand. First, we have a very, very important stop. Gotta get it. Gotta get the points. <laughs> All right. This area is very crucial. We have ice cream. Now. Stadium. So they're playing a game which no one gives a shit about. Um, we have about T minus two hours until the fireworks. Okay, I managed to find somewhere to park. I have no plan. I just have no plan at all. Everyone is screaming. This is action. No plan. Still no plan. I found them. I found them. I don't know if you guys can see them. Right to the right of that blue truck. Those are the fireworks. So they are launched from the field. I'm at the side I drove drove in past. Maybe you can see, but like there is genuinely like a lot of people here. I think the worst that happens is the pyrotechnic guys see me and they cancel the fireworks. Which would be bad. Because that's the type of shit a news article gets written about in Victoria. And then I've just ruined the hobby for everyone in Victoria. So let's try not to have that happen. Okay, I'm just gonna do a super quick test flight here. Okay. Test flight here. So I heard them doing a countdown. I thought it was to the end of the game. Turns out it was to the start of the fireworks. So two minutes. Two minutes. Oh fuck. <laughs> So right here is about where everything starts to go wrong. Uh, you'll see in a moment, it seems like everything is fine, but everything is not fine. My video is horrible to the point where I do nearly lose the quad here at one point. But turns out, or at least my best theory right now is because I was standing right in front of a chain link fence. Turns out that doesn't work so good. So what you are seeing right here is what I am literally seeing while trying to fly the quad. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm freaking out a bit right here, and then I get it back, and I'm like, where am I? Where am I? I'm on the other side of the street behind myself somehow. So I got up high enough, the wind just carried me away. Uh, but I do manage to get the quad back. But at this point, I'm kind of, you know, 
petrified. <laughs> so basically, I give up at this point. I start walking away, and then I, I see my opening, and I take it. That did not go to plan. Like, at all. <laughs> Can I imagine just like, you know, just flying around, full send into the fireworks. Wait a minute. So right here I am in full freakout mode because I've been watching the fireworks for 10 minutes. I had these failed flights, nothing worked. I was walking away. I was ready to go home. You know, I got what I got. But... I, I see, I see, the, well, you can see right here, I can see the fireworks clearly, there's no fence in between me. So I'm scrambling to get my gear ready, hoping I can get in the air before they're over. Well, I mean, here you go. I can't believe I actually fucking got it. <laughs> My heart is fucking pounding. Oh. Well, that's it. I was worried it was gonna end after that first crappy couple of flights, but <laughs> that couldn't have gone better. If you made it to the end of this video, I mean, thank you so much. This is. This is what I love to do, and just, I just love that you're here, enjoying this with me, hopefully to something even crazier in the next one. Don't know what that's gonna be, stay tuned I guess. <laughs>